Dear colleagues, some of you may remember it. 17 months ago, we already had a resolution on the Philippines. Like many of you, I spoke back then. And for some reason, my video was dragged all over Filipino news. Troll armies went, were set, sent out against me. I had 35,000 hate comments on my Facebook page. And I have to admit, I was glad I could just close my laptop and turn all of this off. I was glad I was not in the Philippines, and it was just cyber attacks. That's a privilege our activists and politician colleagues in the Philippines do not have. My friend, the Nobel Peace Prize winner Maria Ressa, faces dozens of lawsuits, so-called slap cases, made up just to intimidate her, and only yesterday she was once more denied to travel outside of the country. My training partner in the Parliamentarian Solidarity Program of this Parliament, Sara Elago, is being attacked. It means the government initiates campaigns as her, against her to brand her as communist, as terrorist. Even her minor siblings are drawn into it with their pictures all over fake news sites. And we know that these kind of attacks lead to also attacks in real life and sometimes even murder. The Philippines, the country that was once known for the most vibrant civil society in Asia, has seen more than 220 killed human rights defenders in the last six years. Maria Ressa often says democracy dies by a thousand cuts. Frankly said, this country has seen more than 1,000 cuts. In May, there will be presidential and parliamentary elections. They could bring about change if only the process behind it were free and fair. The EU has offered to send an election observation mission. I want to thank EAS for that, but the Philippine government has bluntly ignored this request. It's important now that the EU delegation, but also the embassies of all member states, do everything they can to support local election observations and raise problems that they observe with the Philippine authorities. And it is important, and all my colleagues have underlined that, that we send a clear signal to any new government. If the human rights situation in the Philippines does not improve significantly, the country's special privileges under the GSP Plus scheme will be revoked. We have a very broad majority in the parliament behind this. Last time, dear commission, you ignored it. We will not let this happen again.